Hello Vira users, Alex here, your Vray guy, and thanks a lot for joining me on those video series of Keto 3D Success 2.0. And today we're going to do something very technical. This is a one step to the pro level. We're going to calibrate our monitor. And in order to do this, I'm going to use this device. It's called uh, i1 Display 2. I got it uh, about a year ago from Germany. And it's supposed to do those um, really nice images as you see here. Uh, this is the before and this is the after. It's supposed to give the natural color and the natural look to your images. A lot of photographers um, using those devices in order to calibrate their monitors and to set up the linear level. Um, it's sort of one level of communication between your camera and your monitor. So uh, you will get uh, images will be equally displayed. So in 3D we do basically the same stuff. We do uh, calibrate our 3D Max system to Gamma 2.2 and uh, in order to view everything correctly and properly in our on our monitor we can also calibrate it by using this device i1 display 2. There's another one that called Spider. It's also uh, not bad uh, somehow uh, those guys from X-Rite, X-Rite, um, they doing, this is what they do, they do all their life, but this is what they did. So um, it's a little bit more expensive than uh, than the spider. So um, I just I just thought that it might work better, but basically they, uh, they work the same. All right, so uh, after installing uh, their, this uh, CD, uh, you will get this program, it's called iMatch3 uh, and uh, after opening it you need to plug in with USB your device. Uh, this is the device, it's, what it does is actually measures the light and it measures the colors of your monitor and then it set up your working space, your color working space of your monitor uh, correctly, properly. Uh, what actually happens is uh, with the time your monitors lose uh, color because they heat it and just because of this process of uh, getting hot your monitor starts to lose colors and it's very essential to do it at least once per month to, uh, to calibrate your monitor and to bring uh, your colors to the origin. Alright, so after uh, launching this uh, i1 match um, program it comes with a driver after you can update this driver uh, if you get this device it's always advisable to check out for the updates so I just updated and I got the latest version and uh, in order to start calibrating we have here two options the one is the easy way is sort of the manual way you don't need to do much um, I, uh, I use this uh, I use this on the very simple monitors. If you have a more advanced monitor that you can work with, uh, the advanced option is uh, the preferable one. So let's go with the advanced option and click on later uh, on the next button. So we have CRT LCD, we have LCD and we're going to click next. This is the medium that we want, that we want to work with. Our white point 6500K, uh, it's in Kelvin. It's a daylight, uh, it's a daylight uh, measuring point, a uh, hot point. And we're going to uh, do the gamma 2.2 to our uh, monitor. And the luminance, we, we're not going to use any luminance. Although, although we have here 100 or 120 recommended, I will leave it without. Uh, no chance, no uh, no change. All right, I'm going to click the next button. You can read about all this stuff right here if you're interested. I'm just going to go a little bit faster just to show you how this stuff works. And uh, place your i1 on the monitor. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to place it right here in the middle of my monitor. I'm going to just I'm going to hold it with my finger and um, 
what do we need to do here is I'm going to press the start button right here and we're going to measure the light so basically what it does it's it's uh, measures the luminance and it measures uh, the position of my uh, device on the monitor and as you see here it does uh, it allocates it so uh, the measurement will be correct correctly so um, contrast indicator right here the contrast is pretty good we can we can set up the contrast uh, by using here menu and if I'll go to the contrast and I can oops I can either increase it or decrease it according to my device so we get on this side on the left corner we got we're getting here uh, the indication of uh, of our contrast so you need to position it as close as possible to the zero point in the middle oops it's too much 95 93 94 I think will work at it best now we press we can press stop and continue to the next task the next one is going to be the RGB color and we're going to start our RGB colors right here so we got measurements and it measures our uh, RGB colors if some of the colors will be a little bit on the offset we'll get the indication so we can see that green is pretty much good but the red is a little bit on the offset and we can see that our blue color is way way out so I'm lowering the green channel and as you see here how my other channels moving to the center and that's about it it's pretty much close it's almost perfect so as you see here my green was a little bit on the offset okay so let's click the next one and now the measuring continues and what it does it actually measures the colors um, from what we have changed and it's going to set up it's going to create a profile um, you can you can change this profile you can set up that every month you get a reminder to change that profile but the profile that is being set right now is the one that's going to control all your colors uh, for the next period till till the next uh, monitor calibration so this is in my opinion one of the most essential uh, processes for getting the right colors for getting the right look to your image just because uh, not everybody's monitors uh, being set up to the being calibrated to the gamma 2.2 but uh, your monitor is the one who's going to represent the correct colors so um, I know that Mac, uh, Mac monitors, Apple monitors, uh, a few years ago they had uh, calibrate. They all were calibrated to uh, gamma 1.8, but starting uh, I think two years back, three years ago, they started to calibrate automatically to gamma 2.2. So all of the monitors that come from the factory um, actually got gamma 2.2. Um, applied to them okay so I'm using HP monitor it's pretty it's pretty good I got it um, I got it with my HP computer it was like one 
set of working station. I'm pretty much satisfied with uh, with this monitor. It's got good options inside, so um, I'm going to let this measurement uh, go through. All right, so the calibration was uh, finished, and we can here we can set up um, the next uh, the next uh, update, the next reminder for our uh, calibration right here. And as you see here, we get a graph of uh, of the colors that were uh, the exact colors of our uh, monitor. And here we got our color space. Uh, we can click here on the before and after. So calibration off and calibration on. We can see I got a lot of uh, reddish color on my on my computer. And with calibration on, I get to set up. My computer to the correct colors. We can see the gamma, uh, the gamma palette right here also. And uh, after getting the calibration done, I can we can see that we get like really nice looking colors and everything. We can also see this in the picture. And uh, it's definitely one of the things that you wanna that you wanna do with your monitor if you want to work professionally. Okay, here we get also the summary. It shows us the exact. Uh, things that were uh, uh, on the offset and uh, the current uh, different measurements and everything. So uh, just uh, I'm going to set up my to my next update into four weeks and I'm going to do this every four weeks. Uh, every month I'm going to calibrate and bring the original colors to my monitor back. All right. So I'm going to press finish calibration. And uh, my uh, my monitor setup was saved to uh, to my computer. My profile, my colors profile, was saved to my computer. And every time that I'm going to uh, restart, I'm going to load my system. I'm going to uh, run my computer. The colors will be applied automatically. It's going to pull um, those this profile and it's going to set up this profile to my computer automatically. Okay, so uh, I guess this is it. If you want to learn more about uh, technical stuff, how to set up your computer to Gamma 2.2, uh, how to work professionally, um, you can join uh, Keto 3D Success 2.0 and uh, ask me any questions. Everything's been revealed in my new ebook that is going to be out in two days. Uh, thanks for watching. This was Alex, your Vera Guide. Talk soon. Bye.